Hey, what's going on everybody? Scudder Gaming here, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more of episode two of the council. We've just investigated the murder scene of Elizabeth Adams' room. George Washington now. We need to look how big his feet are. Here he is, he's in the room. It is a map of Vermont. I can't get up there. I can, nice. No, I can't. Need agility. Maybe that's a worthwhile thing getting. In case we can use it. A map of Massachusetts. Hmm, there's a lot of maps in here, Washington. What are you playing at? Let's sneak in here while he's not looking. Come back to this. We'll come back to this for now. Great, honey. Okay. Portrait of George Washington. All right, let's go see what our Washington's got to say. So let's have a look at this picture above the fireplace if we can. No. Nope. Okay. A note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. I'll leave that for now, just in case he's got. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young. But rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Okay. Let's go see what he's got to say for himself then. Greetings, William. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Look, he's got big feet. Um, he looks like he's grieving. Okay. I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Can you tell me what you were doing last night so that I can strike your name off the list? I spent the night right here, reading. All night? Exactly. Emily stopped by in the middle of the night, you can ask her. She wanted to talk about some business we have in common. Anything whatsoever to do with Elizabeth? Not at all, Louis. A business matter. Hmm. Tell me, Mr. President. Had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You, well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. Did she tell you why she was so desperate to get some, Mr. President? She said she had terrible migraines that wouldn't go away. More likely for the voices she heard, not the migraines. Hmm. So we could ask him about this, but I think... Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry. But that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened. And I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countrymen or not, 
I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. Yes, Lord Mortimer has a talent for healing, apparently. I'm not surprised Sir Gregory advised her to come. Agreed. Do we want to tell him about the footprint? No. No, we don't. I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. I don't trust him. Free, Louis. And he's got big if feet. anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Not going to decipher it for now. Okay, whose room is next? It does make you wonder if Washington and Emily were together last night and we're looking for someone with big feet and someone with slender hands. I mean, I think I've got all the evidence I need, yeah? All right. Okay. Whose room is this? So, I can't go in his room. So we're officially taking him off the list of a suspect, are we? Don't like that. This is my room. Can't go in there. Can't go in here. This fella hasn't been here yet, has he? Have we seen him yet? I can't remember. Probably should have knocked first, but never mind. Oh, wow, look at this place. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should, under no circumstances, hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are. Hands and feet tied, and little room to manoeuvre. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. T.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Hmm... The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat, it's disgusting. I mean, that is disgusting. <laughs> Grammar of Port Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least, une partie of it. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Why isn't it on the wall? Hmm? Oh, look who it is. I'll be with you in a second, Treagle. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But 
King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Well, Chinese coin. Well, well. You can inform King George of the Holy Father's backing I mean, she'll assist you with the financing and recruitment of regiments or of emigrants royalists to fight against France. Your friend, His Eminence Giuseppe Piaggi. Two coils circle the lock. Let's have a little look. Oh, she's not looking. <gasps> Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which, to my mind, makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. All right. I've retrieved everything. Queen Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there, from what I can tell. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Hmm. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Okay. Some origami there. Right. Let's just run in here again. Did I search everything in here? I think I did. Um. Probably get some of these back. And now let's have a little conversation with her, shall we? And we stood her what up. What can I do for you, Louis? She was in a bad mood. I come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. No doubt she suffered greatly. Nine times? What monster is capable of such a horrible thing? Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? <laughs> I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? So, can I, this is diversion, can I see, um, can I see, uh, Emily's, I'm sorry, Emma's, um, things, it doesn't look like I can. I wondered if it'd show me like their traits, like here. So 
I don't know how she would, she'll react to that. I thought I'd uncovered something with her, but I'm not sure what. I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects, can you tell me what you were doing on the night of the murder? Am I given to understand that I'm on the list of suspects? Don't take it the wrong way, but I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me. Oh, God. I know, Emily. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You're... you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Are we going to go through the same Just thing so again? that I can cross you off the list of suspects. We are going to go through the same thing. Tell me what you were doing on the God night of the murder. Am I given to understand you still haven't told me. list of suspects? <laughs> you annoying don't take bastard. The wrong way, but <laughs> okay. I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. Hey, I, know I get it. Jeez. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You're, you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I, I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. I don't think we want to tell her that. Well, maybe we do, I don't know. He's giving them information. I found a torn piece of dress in Miss Adams' room. Grey silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. Good Lord, Louis, I... Do you realize what this means? If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any grey silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister, since we wear the same clothes. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to What's check What's the with deal you. with her sister? I'm so sorry, Louis. Thank you. Are you all right? You know, I'm sure there's a good reason why your mother was at the scene. Thank you, Emily. Well, we just jump into that conclusion, are we? Okay, let's try this. Since your arrival, did you notice anything strange about Elizabeth? Everything that happened around that poor child was strange. You saw that for yourself. I know. You're right. I'm looking for leads to try to reduce the number of suspects. Well, I would say that in addition to ourselves, you could also cross off President Washington. I went to see him during the night. I had some business with him, and I can confirm that he didn't leave his room all night. Hmm. That gives Washington an alibi. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I think those I two did it. Family. Thank you for answering my questions. I don't know why. See you, Louis. We needed a man and a woman, and, well, we've got some. I still don't know what the deal is with her and her sister. She's looking for her sister? And they're twins, and they wear identical clothes? All seems a bit weird. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. Okay. Where are we going? This Is it this way, or this... I can't remember. I think it's this way. Bonaparte, okay. This could be awkward. Let's listen to what he's got to say for himself first. He doesn't like us very much. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed, it is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, 
There were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and His Eminence Piaget as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh, la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, oh, couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. <laughs> not really, no. As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. A bandit? Thank you. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. Hmm. Were you able to recognize the Prowler? Unfortunately not, no. It was dark, and Lord Mortimer was waiting for me. I was not really paying attention anyway. Attention. Can't remember any information about any of it. Don't trust him. Don't trust well, him. Have we finished, monsieur? For now. Exactly. Thanks again for all for your answers. For now. Good day. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. It's a beautiful weapon. Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Paoli continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Hmm. Okay. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Still can't reach up there. Another coin, okay. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? Devil's Fallen is full. What does Devil's Fallen do? I can't remember. We might as well use one. And then pick one up. Nice. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. It's immune to politics and something else. I can't remember what it was now. 
Um, can I go out there? No. Okay, so let's search this other room. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. I wonder if he's got a grey silk dress. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. I thought he said he only had one gun. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. It's always good to be discreet as to your coming. Throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. Okay, so I think I'm finished here as well. I'm assuming he only carries one gun. But he has a different holster for it in different outfits. Does that sound like a thing? Let's just speak to him again, see if there's anything else we can gauge from this. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Playing cards. Okay. Never mind. We know he owns a pistol. Well, he says he I only owns finish, one. Monsieur. Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. I don't think it was him. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Hmm. Okay, and I think we shall leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if you have any ideas. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.